going to be a very exciting day. I'm looking forward to this. So. A lot of scooters on this island. I'm going to be the only bicycle. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Will do. Hello, we got more. So, Koh Klang has apparently 900 uh, families that are living here, and essentially it's mostly fishermen or uh, people working on fish farms. Uh, there is an eco farm apparently that uh, uh, they may have honeybees and if that's the case then I will buy some buy some honey um, but they've also got a there's a non-genetically modified uh, variety of rice that they grow here as well and uh, so there is a rice mill that apparently operates seven days a week so I don't want to check that out too but being that the map didn't really have too much I think I'll be doing a lot of exploring today so that suits me fine one of the local gas stations. What do you got? Buffalo in your front yard. Beautiful homes here. And we are coming up to a bridge. This will be one of many. Days gone by, this uh, this is probably the community telephone booth, but it's actually got a tree growing out of it now. So it's, uh, I don't know if there's a phone in there anymore or not. I could check for coins. I have made it to the beach and uh, can actually uh, see Krabby Town's actually just in the background now. So, but anyway, there's a couple of fishermen here. Let's, uh, I'll just go say hello to them anyway while we're here and their cat. Sorry, Cap. Hey, kitty. Where you come from? Canada. Canada. That's one thing I did not expect to see today was uh, two guys fishing with their cat, but anyway, first time for everything. It was cute, very cute. Well, I've arrived at uh, officially Land's End on Koh Klang. So when I double back, um, there's gonna be a rice mill that I'm gonna stop at. And as well, I didn't find the bee farm yet. So I'm gonna uh, probably have to ask for that and find out if anybody knows where that is, if it's still open and uh, also find some food.
While cycling through the mangroves, I came across a mangrove tree crab, so I thought I would stop for a closer look. This one is a female, and as you can see, she's carrying eggs underneath her abdomen. Sometimes I see these crabs up in the trees as they're eating leaves. They can move quite fast, too, at up to one meter per second. They often fall victim to motorcycles running over them, birds, larger crabs, and predatory fish. So I'm just uh, cutting through the, uh, the mangrove forest here. And I guess this acts, acts as a uh, natural uh, tsunami break. And um, it probably saved a lot of people's homes from the, uh, the big tsunami in, I think it was 2003. But everywhere you look in these uh, mangroves, things are moving. You just gotta just stop and take a look around. And uh, there's lots of creepy crawlies anyways. So it, there's some, like there's crabs and mud skips and uh, who knows what else is in there. So. Looks like there's been a, uh, there's a new uh, little, I guess a berm that they've constructed here to back the water up and uh, they've got fish on the one side. So it's, uh, can't see it from that angle. And there's, cra there's crabs crawling around all over in here. And that's good making making good use of the land here anyways, having a, a dike and now we've got a good pond here full of fish. I just spotted a monkey, so let's see if we can get close to it. I really actually don't like monkeys, but there's two of them. It's interesting to see this uh, this kid here that just passed me. He uh, his, he's got a little toy car. It's made out of a one liter oil container. It kind of feels like going back in time here. Just the, the feeling here when you even when you see the cows that are doing the lawn maintenance at the schoolyard. They seem quite happy. set up a little blockade on me. Thank you. Tsunami evacuation route 1.6 kilometers. We are 0, 0.00 meters above sea level. So I'm guessing that uh, on the evacuation route, they must have a tower or something for everybody to, uh, to climb up to, to to get us above that because there's no hills here. So just a hunch anyway, but hopefully luck's on our side and we won't have any alarms today. Yeah, somebody's got a fancy little boat with a nice paint job. Like they even uh, kind of made their own dock. I don't think I'm gonna try to walk on that thing though. No. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a, uh, I don't know if it's a fish farm that's in the background here. Let's go take a look. It's, uh, it's 
it's got a bunch of floating pop bottles so it seems it seems like it's more of a makeshift uh whether it's a water purification or fish farm i have no idea let's take a look i'm told by some of the locals that this is indeed a fish farm the pop bottles are being used as flotation for netting look on the left here we've got uh it's a rubber plantation they've got little uh black containers tied to the tree there to gather the latex that drips out. We'll take a closer look. So the latex flows the most early in the morning, so we won't see much dripping down the spout right now. But you can see there's lots in this container as well as an unfortunate fly that will have to get filtered out. This latex will probably become a tire someday. Although not listed on my map, I arrived at a beach on the north end of the island where I met some friendly villagers. They were receiving a large shipment of goods from this boat, which included a lot of cooking gas and construction materials. They then transported everything off on their motorcycles and into their boat. Well, I followed one of the little side roads and I ended up at the ocean. And there's a, there's a field of uh, Madagascar periwinkles here. They're absolutely gorgeous. Lots of little bees flying around and pollinating them. And it's, uh, yeah, I did not expect to see this. Just another little treat that Koklang has to offer. All right, we should be coming up to the bee farm. And I'm seeing bee nests. So that's probably a good sign. Yep, this is it. That is a bumble bee with a coconut head. handmade shop. There's actually a few little stores in here. But I think I found what I wanted. So this place has goats, it's got ducks, it has birds, it's got chickens, it's got bees, it has crabs. Um, I think if I missed anything, I'll say there's butterflies, but uh, I don't think they're actually being looked after by anybody. But no, this is a really, really neat place. It's well worth stopping here and checking us out. So this is the rice mill apparently. Um, nobody around here today and not a lot going on, but um, apparently it's still in use, but uh, pretty quiet. I guess it's a farmer's school here too. The rice grown on Koklang is called Khao Sang Yod. It's a long and thin grain rice. Its texture is similar to white jasmine rice and it has a distinct sweet aroma. It is a non-GMO product. After cycling about 20 kilometers on the island today, I stopped at this restaurant for lunch and decided to hop a boat back into Krabby Town. I have a feeling I'll come back to Koklang. It's worth a second look. <laughs> 